welcome dear all in our youtube channel alexis projects and today we will see a new hardware model title name is gsm based smart irrigation system so hardware model is as available on your screen as you can see so let's discuss about the components used in this model first uh, you can see uh, here is a white nut character used to provide 230 volt power supply for the water pump for the pump operation Okay, specification you can read on the left side next component is it is out outlet for a water pump to connect to the water pump to our model we will use this white nut connector okay next component is uh, in blue color you can see sugar cube relay single uh, channel relay we are using to turn on and off the water pump according to the Arduino instruction next component is uh, Arduino Nano it is the main brain of the system connected with expansion shield Okay, it is responsible to handle all the operations like running LCD and uh, taking the data from sensor, taking JSM commands, etc. All the things. Next component uh, is a uh, JSM module. We are using CM800 model and it is responsible to uh, take, uh, receive, and send all the SMS commands and to provide a uh, proper instruction to the Arduino for our project uh, working. Next component is we are using 16 cross to uh, LCD of a blue black light and specifically you can see on the left side it is connected with the Arduino. Next component you can see it is a moisture sensor it is responsible to uh, provide a moisture available in the inside the soil to show so that we can take uh, sufficient actions. Next component is uh, we are uh, uh, monitoring our tank level. So using this ultrasonic sensor, we will measure the tank level. It can measure up to 200 centimeter of tank height. Next component is uh, it is a water pump. You can see we are using 10 watts of water pump for the irrigation purpose. So for the power supply, we will use this uh, 9 volt adapter. To provide the power supply to the model and let's connect it to the model successfully connected and now time to connect it to 30 volt plug for the pump operation to the extension board as you can see okay now we need to place an ultrasonic sensor on the above tank so we are using this uh, stick as you can see um, time to see its performance so to see its performance we will need to turn on the main switch and uh, water pump switch okay so you can see uh, currently JSM model is finding the network at the same time LCD is running and showing the this project name uh, you can see in LED uh, JSM model LED is showing network status let's remove the moisture sensor to reduce the moisture level because we have to test uh, the model uh, with a uh, low moisture level Current moisture level is uh, less than 30% and tank level is 85% and currently motor is off as you can see uh, inside the tank okay so let's uh, send our SMS motor on and we will see what happens when moisture level is less than 30% and tank level is greater than 70% so we have sent us SMS successfully uh, it takes a little uh, 2 to 5 seconds to deliver and take the action so you can see SMS content motor is on and we have received one display from the model that pump has turned on because moisture level is, level is less than 30 percent okay you can see water pump is on and pump is trying to increase the moisture level consider we have placed a sensor inside the tank okay and we will see what happens when moisture level is greater than 70 percent so you can see we received one SMS on the mobile phone that pump has turned off because moisture level has reached more than 70 percent you can see on the lcd screen and tank level is still 85 percent okay so as you can see one auto sms we get okay now time to take condition 3 okay when condition 3 means moisture level is greater than 70 percent and tank level is also greater than 70 percent and we will send the uh, sms motor on again because currently motor is off Okay. Remember the condition on above as you can see on the screen. Condition third condition we are going to check. And what happens when a moisture level sufficient moisture level is available inside the tank? It takes a little time to deliver the SMS, so please be patient. 
so you can see when we send a sms so it is uh, replying that sufficient moisture is available no need to turn on the motor and uh, motor condition is uh, still same means motor is off still off now and we can also see motor status on, on the lcd screen moisture level tank level and motor condition we can see on the lcd time to check condition for in this condition we will reduce the tank level by putting the sensor above the tank actual tank height and now our model will show less tank levels and we are currently checking condition 4 you can see tank level has reached less than 50 percent and even a zero percent you can see so we will get an auto sms that low tank level condition 4 has satisfied and now time to check condition 5 in this uh, when tank level is less than 30 percent and we send sms motor on so we will see what happens when we send a uh, sms command motor on what uh, sms we get in the replay either motor turns on or off so sms has delivered now okay waiting for the replay okay remember tank level is less than 30 percent so you can see our model is responded that low tank level okay please fill the tank if you want to turn on the motor it means and you can see parameters on the sms uh, as well tank level is zero percent moisture level is uh, 77 percent and currently motor is off why because tank level is zero percent and uh, in this condition if you turn on the motor it is not a good choice because uh, it will waste our energy okay in our model when moisturity level reduces less than 30 percent we get an auto sms that uh, low moisturity level okay by reading that sms we can send uh, we can understand that uh, moisturity level is low okay because of a uh, high sunlight uh, and we can send sms to turn on the motor in this way we can uh, control this uh, model you can see we are testing and uh, you can see we are receiving sms low moisture levels Okay, it means our project model is asking us to send a SMS motor on for the next operation. Okay, again we are putting the sensor inside the water and uh, we will get that uh, sufficient moisture is available uh, because moisture level is uh, greater than 70%. So you can see we received an SMS pump has turned off because uh, moisture level is uh, better moisture level is available. Okay. In this model, there are uh, two specific conditions that if you want to turn on the motor, then there are two compulsory conditions should be satisfied that uh, what tank level should be greater than 30% and moisture level should be less than 70%, then only motor on command will work. Okay. Remember, if moisture level is greater than 70%, this uh, motor on command will not work. Okay. And after 70 percent it will act as automatically it will uh, turn off the motor and uh, our model will send back an sms that pump has turned off okay so it is an important point uh, point uh, you, uh, students uh, need to re remember uh, in this model okay again uh, we are sending uh, sms motor off okay because uh, uh, this uh, motor off command only works when moisture level is uh, less than 70 percent please like this video for our support and also share this video with your friends college mates okay you can see our model is uh, running so fine according to the conditions if any student want to purchase this model please contact us on given number in the description so you can also use one SMS command that uh, if you send a status, uh, we can uh, check either which either uh, what is the tank level and what is the moisture level using this SMS command. So you can see uh, we will get an SMS reply SMS in which uh, we will see either motor is on or off, what is the moisture level and what is the tank level. Okay, so it means our model is working so fine. Okay, if, uh, if students uh, can purchase this model for their BTEC project. Our YouTube channel has so many other YouTube videos. Uh, you can see other models projects on our YouTube channel. Please visit the playlist section and watch uh, whatever video you want. And thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, we will see you in next video. Take care.